So in this video, we will learn how to receive stock alerts from TradingView via SMS in real time. Now suppose guys, you have created some kind of alerts in TradingView for your favorite stocks and indexes and you want to get those alert details as a SMS on your mobile number. So let me tell you, you can completely automate this process. So the trigger of this automation will be getting an alert in our TradingView account for our stock and the action will be getting those new alert details as a SMS notification on your mobile number using Twilio. Now guys, how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Public Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get the free sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give your workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as trading view to Twilio and then just click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow guys, we can see two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first, we have to connect our trading view account with public connect so that we can get all the updates and alerts of the stocks or indices from trading view inside public connect. And after that, using public connect and will you, we are going to send SMS reminders or SMS updates to our own number. So let's begin. So we're in trigger window and choose app search for trading view. Select trading view over here. And after that, in trigger event from the drop down, select new alert. After selecting a trigger event, Public Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now we are going to use this webhook URL to connect and get updates from Trading View and Public Connect. So just copy this webhook URL from here and go to the help text. Follow this help text given below over here. So first, just go to your Trading View account, and here you have to select the entice or stocks whose update you want to get for whom you have created a, an alert. So let's take a look on this index of Nifty. So what we are going to do, we are just going to click here and we are going to create an alert. First, let's open the chart of this. And after opening the chart of this index, you can see that right now, currently it is trading at 18,348 points. So let's create an alert. Just click on this create alert button or click over here. Just click on it. So here guys, it is asking us, the first drop down ask us, either we want to set up an alert on volume or actual price. So we want to set up an alert on actual price. Now the second option it is asking us in the drop down that is crossing. So for what condition we are setting up this alert? So we have to set up an alert on the certain amount, a certain point. So we want to set up an alert that whenever this index or this stock is going to cross this amount, this number, then we are going to get the updates. You can add different condition like crossing up, crossing down, greater than, less than, or any condition from this drop down. So I'm setting up this alert for crossing. Then it is asking us for the value we are setting up or for the volume. So we are setting up for the value and the value is for example, uh, 18,345. Okay, 18,345. For this volume, or oh, sorry, for this value, we are setting up this alert. So whenever this index or this stock is going to cross this volume with this number, this point, then we are going to get the alerts on our public account. Then it is asking us options that only once you want to get the alert or every time it crosses. So we want to get the alert every time the index or the stock crosses this amount. Then it is asking us expiration time of this alert. So if you want, you can choose any date and any time in future. So I will just change the time of this over here, for example, from 3.30. I will just change the time to 3.30. So this alert will expire on 11th of December 2022 at this time. Then here in alert actions, you can see an option named as webhook URL. And here you just have to select it. And in that field below, you have to paste the same webhook URL, which we have copied from Public Connect. Just copy this webhook URL from here, go to trading view, and then just paste it over here. After pasting the webhook URL, the last thing it asks us is the message that what is the message? What is the alert update we want to send to Public Connect using this webhook URL? So in this alert update, I want to mention the name of the index or the stock. Then here you can see what is the event which we have selected and we have the point that for what points, what value we have created this event. 
after this guys if you want you can add some other details regarding this stock at this time point of time as well so here you can see that you can see some special placeholders when you click on this question mark icon of who help you will see there are a list of different placeholders which you can create so if you want to get that in what stock exchange this uh, part or this stock has been exchanged or is trading you can add this kind of exchange placeholder in double curly braces in this message then if you want to get the current price you can use this close placeholder if you want to get the volume you can use this placeholder and you can scroll down and get a list of different placeholders which you can add and get the details so after this guys i want to get the volume of the stock as well so i'm adding a placeholder of volume by in double curly braces so this is volume then i want to get the price so at what price it is trading right now for that we have a placeholder by close so this is the placeholder for that and also i want to get the time that at what time this stock has crossed so we want to get the time so i'll just create a placeholder for time and it is done so in this way using these placeholder you can add as many as details of the stock of this update in this message and whenever this event is going to happen whenever this stock or this index is going to cross this value we are going to get the update on our webbook url with these details after this just click on create guys and when we click on create here you will see that this alert has been updated now every time this index or this stock is going to cross this value automatically we will be getting the alerts on our public connect workflow now what we have to do we just have to wait for a few seconds for this stock to cross this value which we have entered over here and yes guys here you can see that just now we have received the alert so here we have created the alert for 183445 and then here you can see that as the stock crossed that price we have again received the alert so as we receive this alert because we have connected our trading view alert with public connect using the webbook url in our public connect account as well guys here in our workflow we can see that we have received the response and in this response we can see all the details which we have created while setting up this alert so here in message we have created some values and here in public connect you can see we have received all of those details we have the stock or index name we have the condition for which we have created this alert and the value then we have the volume that at what volume it is trading right now we have the price that at what price it is trading and we also have the time as well so in this way guys you can see that all the details of the updated alert has been received inside public connect now let's move to the next part and what we want to do we want to send this update send these details as an sms on our number for that we just have to scroll down come to our action window and here in choose app you have to search for twilio so we are using twilio as a service to send sms or get sms on our number after that it is asking us for the action event so here in action event from the drop down select send sms message click on connect and select add new connection after clicking on add new connection guys here what we have to do we have to connect our twilio account with public connect and to make this connection it is asking us for the account sid authorization token and once again account sid of our twilio account now how you can get these details now to get these details to connect twilio with our public connect account you just have to log into your twilio account and on the home page you can see account sid and auth token just copy copy this account sid from here go to public connect and paste it over here after this guys go back to twilio copy this auth token and paste it over here and after that just click on save and send test request after connecting our twilio account guys the first thing it asks us is the body of the sms that what is the sms which we want to get on our number so we want to get this message of alert which we have received from trading view on our number as the sms so what we have to do we have to map the same message the same response which we have received from trading view over here in this field and guys the process of mapping is very simple simply click on this field and in the drop down below you can see the response which we have received from trading view can be seen over here just select this response and it will be mapped over here after this it is asking us for the sender number so here we have to enter the send, enter the sender's number of our twilio account so to get the sender's number once again get back to twilio and here you can see my twilio phone number this will be our sender's number just copy it from here go to public connect and paste it over here 
and at last it is asking us for the recipient number that on what number we want to send or get the message the sms message so i want to get the sms message on my own number so here i'm going to enter my own number with country code so let's enter the twilio number the phone number of my account and after that just click on save and send test request after clicking on save and send test request here you can see that we have received some response and this response seems to be a positive response to us this response shows that this message has been sent on this number so let's check we will we are going to check the sms inbox of this number and yes guys here you can see that on the same number we have just now received a sms which says nifty crossing 18345 points volume is it is trading on is 265000 sorry 267620 at the price of 18344 and we have the same time at which it has crossed so in this way all the updates from trading view has been received on our number instantly as an sms message this means the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine now every time guys we are going to get a new alert we are going to set up a new alert and we get a new update from trading view automatically the details of that update will be received inside fabli connect and we are going to get a sms notification on our number so after setting up this automation let's test this automation once uh, once again so right now as you can see this stock is trading at 18357 points so let me change it okay so what we are going to do we are just going to change the value at which we are setting up this alert to 18355 and let's click on save and let's wait that one second it crosses this point and yes here you can see that just now this price has once again crossed this value which we have entered over here and then we can see that we have received a response and in our sms message guys in our sms inbox we have received another sms notification so this means the automation workflow which we have created is working perfectly fine now every time we are going to receive an alert an update from trading view automatically the updates will be sent on our own number as a sms notification so not just these application guys you can connect plenty of other applications using babli connect and guys one more important thing you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Public Connect account and use this automation workflow for free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.public.com. So, if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down your suggestion, and don't forget to share it with others. So, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.